Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another new video. Today we're taking a look at uh, DWM again. Today's video is slightly different. We are actually starting in DWM. The uh, first place to start is uh, with um, housekeeping, I guess you would call it from the last video. Uh, first of all, I mentioned that uh, there wasn't uh, a way built in to sort of build DWM and then restart to preview changes. Uh, I have a solution for that. A guy named Faison Ahmed. Sorry, one of the viewers very nicely pointed out that if you go into your X in it RC, you can add the following line right here, uh, basically to launch DWM in a loop uh, so that when you quit out of it, it will just instantly restart. Now it's not going to like kill any of your apps or anything when whenever you do that, it'll just restart DWM. Uh, the one weird thing is I'll go ahead and restart here so I can show you whenever we do quit out of DWM. So I'm gonna hit the keyboard shortcut here. You can see it actually just sort of reshuffles everything on the desktop, which is incredibly annoying of course, but I, I mean, I don't think I, I'm gonna spend too much time just restarting DWM for the hell of it. So that's cool. And I don't really think there were any other issues. Somebody pointed out that your X in it RC should be more complex than this and you can include much more in there. That's true. Uh, you can take a look at the uh, Arch Wiki if you're interested in that. I just, I really don't use the X in it RC. I actually am typically a, uh, a login manager person, either uh, LY or some light version of light DM. Uh, so I, I usually don't use an X in RFC and I just wanted to test and see if DWM would actually work. So it didn't seem reasonable to build out a whole XNet RC script. But if you are going to launch DWM with an X, uh, using the XNet RC, definitely check out the uh, Arch Wiki. And then I guess one other thing I could point out is that if you do want to launch DWM via a login manager and not through an XNet RC, it's actually not all that difficult. All you really need to do is CD into USR slash share slash X sessions. And here there's it's going to list out while well, there's going to be an entry for every window manager that you have set up. So you can see on my system, I have awesome. I have gnome for some reason, budgie and uh, plasma. But what I actually had to do was just go in and manually add a dwm.desktop file. So what you can do is touch dwm.desktop or you'll, you'll probably have to do a uh, pseudo touch cool and then if you go into that file you just need to make it look like this desktop entry utf8 encoding give it a name uh call it what it is and then give it the actual command this is the important part where you're telling the entry what to actually do in this case it's just going to execute dwm as the program and then you can add icon and you need to add x session as the type uh from there dwm shows up as an entry in ly which is the login manager that i typically use it also shows up in light dm i have and tested many other things but i assume this is where all login managers are pulling data from so you should be good there uh anyways on to this video i have been messing around with dwm quite a bit i actually just recently put it back here on this laptop oh boy it's hard to line up a finger with the camera that laptop there uh it runs soulless linux uh, so it was a little i didn't know how difficult that would be uh but the whole process took me like 15 minutes and that was with me having to go and find random developer packages that weren't installed by default and and doing a little bit of troubleshooting and like that was it like it it, it really didn't take long at all i had to install five packages maybe tops including pycom and fay which i didn't have installed by default and those were just purely aesthetic to enable transparency and to uh, set a background. So that was super easy. Uh, and I've, I've sort of torn down and rebuilt DWM a couple of times now, just playing around with it. So I don't know, I mean, if, if you didn't see the last video, uh, the way I've been working is I have a dot suckless folder, DWM folder, and then in here, uh, these are all the config files. These are the patches that I have installed right now, a bar height, a full screen patch so that we can uh, make apps full screen, a blank tags patch, which just makes it so that we're not adding numbers up here on the little tag switcher thing, but it's just showing shapes instead. And I mean, really that's about it. One thing I do want to do is if I go into the config.def.h, uh, if I look for mod one mask, this line right here, line 49 and this version of DWM at least, uh, is where we can set the mod key, which in this case is alt. Uh, I want to change that to mod four, which is the command key or the uh, super key. So that'll make DWM function basically identically to um, awesome, which is what I'm used to. Uh, and we could keep screwing around with the keyboard shortcuts all day, but really 
this is super, super like what I'm used to using. So I thought uh, maybe I would just go through the config and maybe mess around with a few things that I wanted to mess around with and we'll uh, try to make a video out of this. Um, I did add a bar height patch, like I mentioned, so maybe I could try to set that to something else, maybe 40. And we'll, uh, let's see, let's rebuild and reload here. Maybe, hang on, let me try to maybe make it a bit bigger. I think this value is in pixels, so maybe we could go up to 80. Rebuild again and try and restart here and see what happens. Uh, yeah, that'll work. That looks better. I mean, in all honesty, I'm probably just gonna turn Polypar back on as soon as I'm done with this video. I just thought there should be something to to uh, separate the two so that you could actually tell I was using something other than awesome. And uh, I, don't, I don't really know how I feel about not having gaps here. Somebody recommended try DWM without gaps, so I guess I, I can do that. Um, I gotta say, it does actually look kind of, um, kind of interesting if I open up a couple of windows here. It says, you know, just sort of no space waiting Wasted, takes up the whole screen and, and it's got this weird shadow thing going on that I'm into. I probably should go into maybe the uh, config for PyCon and ditch the rounded corners if I'm gonna do that. Yeah, and that looks pretty good. I mean, if you if you really want to, you always can jump onto a new screen or, or on the same screen and I think the shortcut should be mod shift space and you can shift that into a floating window and then resize it and move it around however you want. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but I, I mean, honestly, the, the thing is DWM is basically the awesome window manager or awesome is basically DWM. There's really not, at, le at least on the surface, there's not really not a huge difference. Now, of course, the two are completely different in terms of backend, in terms of customization. DWM is written in C, awesome is written in Lua. DWM, of course, has the like crazy patching system. Awesome kind of just, you get what you get, but it also has these other tools that it uses to work with, stuff like beautiful and their uh, notification system. I forget what it's called. I think it's called Naughty. I suppose the question is between the two which should you use and I, I think there's certainly use cases where one makes sense and one doesn't for example this laptop back here I was talking about it's running soulless Linux uh, which really isn't a super tiling window manager friendly uh, distribution it, it comes with budgie which is their desktop environment that they've built which is very good but if you want a tiling window manager setup I think the only one that's actually in their repository is i3 uh, feel free to fact check me on that. I have no idea if that's true. That's just the only one that I uh, found when I was searching some. Uh, that being said, I was able to build DWM from source and, and get up and running perfectly fine and add an entry in LightDM2 within, like I said, 15 minutes. It was no big deal whatsoever. If you're, if you're pretty familiar with C, I think it makes a lot of sense to use DWM. If you're really familiar with Lua, maybe it makes more sense to use Awesome, although that config is potentially sort of complicated, even if you do know Lua, to be completely honest with you. Uh, at least that's that's my uh, opinion of it. Why on earth is OBS using 22% of the CPU? The fuck's going on here? All right, whatever. Um, anyways, in terms of what I would use, I, I, I think actually I would lean towards DWM. The thing that I think makes DWM great is the same thing that makes ST a great terminal for a lot of people. And, and, and to an extent also even something like DMenu uh, really great is that you can just add on functionality that isn't there. That's really not something that you can do with any other app that I can think of. You know, I, I mean, say there's a feature in Termite that you really like, but it's not in Kitty or it's not in Alacrity. You can't just go and grab that. Whereas in the case of ST, there's a pretty decent chance you can, and there's an equally good chance that you can do it super, super easily. So, I, I mean, I don't know. As far as what I'm gonna use on a sort of permanent basis, I, I actually wanna mess around with some other window managers. These DWM and Awesome are both, um, I think what people call like automatic tiling uh, window managers. I'd like to try some manual ones, BSBWM and i3. I've mentioned those a few times. I think those are probably a good way to go. Or uh, maybe Xmonad, people seem to like that. I messed around with Openbox a little bit before. And it's not really for me, maybe I'm missing something. If, you, if you're a fan of Openbox, Box, feel free to like leave a comment uh, 
<laughs> letting me know what what uh, what you think uh, makes it worth using, and I'll I'll take another look at it. That's totally cool. Oh, one other thing. Somebody mentioned uh, like multi monitor issues with. DWM and, and I've had that comment on both videos about awesome and videos about DWM and I'm not really 100% sure what you're talking about both window managers uh, you know you can just grab windows and, and move them from monitor to monitor if, if that's something you want to do but there's also keyboard shortcuts to do that really easily I guess maybe it might be like if you're using a laptop and plugging and unplugging a monitor let me unplug a monitor and see what happens here I haven't actually done that it looks like the window is just kind of staying there, which I suppose is maybe how I would want that to work. When I plug it back in, it pops right back up. So that, that could be a potential issue if you like unplug and the window is stuck on the monitor you just unplugged. Um, but I mean, I think that was a Firefox window. I think if I, let me unplug and I left Firefox over there and then let me uh, maybe kill Firefox, come over to a new tab, relaunch Firefox. Yeah, it's gonna launch right here. Whoops. So, I, I mean, that's not the end of the world. That's a little clunkier than I would like it to be, certainly. So, I mean, I can see where that could be slightly annoying, but in terms of just like multi-monitor problems, I, I really don't have a problem with tiling window managers and, and using a multi-monitor setup. I'm always a, a three monitor guy and, and actually, occasionally four or five monitors uh sometimes not not right now but uh yeah no i, I have zero issues with it i'm not if, if, if i'm missing something again uh feel free to let me know but i, I don't have an issue there uh but yeah i don't know i don't really have anything else i think this might be the most anticlimactic uh dwm video of all time i like it a lot and i think if i come back to one of the two either awesome or dwm there's a pretty decent chance that it'll be dwm but really i'm, I'm totally fine with either i think they're both great i don't know i, I guess it's time to hop to another one if you have a uh, another uh, idea or recommendation for a window manager if there's one that you're a big fan of feel free to leave it in the uh, description or in the comments and i will uh, definitely consider it maybe maybe we'll just uh do whichever one gets the most uh recommendations i don't know i think i think that's gonna be it for this video i, I don't know hey look the new matrix trailer just dropped yesterday go uh watch this and there we go i'll leave you with that so i'm not leaving uh leaving the video having said absolutely nothing of relevance Nah, nah, nah. Uh, see you in the next one.